Welcome to video two for short paper two. In this video, we're going to learn how to graph the correlation between a development variable and the primary source. So you're asking, what is a development variable? Because you already know what a primary source variable is. A development variable is can be can be virtually any variable that does it include income, which explains some, some measure of broad human development. The two primary development variables are an education variable. When I say education, I mean adult literacy, uh, gross enrollment, as found in the HDI. Uh, but there are many others if you go to the World Bank uh, data bank. Health could be many things. It could be uh, life expectancy. It could be uh, hospitals as a percent of the population. It could be doctors as a percent of the population. If you go to the World Bank, you'll be able to see some of the options for the health variables. Uh, so I went to the places to the place that well, we're all familiar with where you select variables. And if you click on health, you can see many options for health types of variables. Which variable is most important for your country? Well, that depends on the research you do. Secondarily, is the data available? Because you may find that you want to use, let's say, life expectancy at birth. That's a very good development variable. However, you may not have all the data you need for the time frame you're interested in, say, 1990 to 2009. Therefore, you have to find another related variable maybe uh, male instead of female, maybe total instead of either male or female, uh, maybe mortality rate. So it's up to you to determine what is the best development variable uh, for you. For the country I'm using as the example, Ghana, I'm going to use the primary education of teachers. And let me say something else uh, before I leave the World Bank too quickly. When you click on a variable and you click on notes, that gives you some uh, explanation of what that variable is. So it's not just life expectancy at birth female, it's life expectancy at birth, which indicates the number of years a newborn infant would live if prevailing patterns of mortality at the time of its birth were to stay the same throughout its life. So before you start choosing variables, first do the research to see which variable is relevant for your country, and then read what the actual variable definition is to get a better understanding of uh, the full scope of the variable, very important. So again, I chose primary education teachers. So the World Bank, if you type in primary education teachers, the World Bank tells us that that means primary education of teachers, which includes full-time and part-time teachers. So very direct understanding of what that means. But it's a very important variable because as this number goes up, it indicates that there is a uh, increasing amounts of education needed because they're increasing the amount of persons who can teach, which is an overall good development measure. Would I prefer uh, literacy rates or uh, some other broader definition within the confines of education? Yes, but that was not available for Ghana. So the closest I can get to education, which is an important development variable for Ghana, is this one, which is fine. Okay, so let's go back to our data and notice a couple of things. This is the same data I had before. Uh, what's different is that now, what will be different is that I'm only going to use my services data, which is my primary source, and my development data. Okay, so primary source and development variable. So I can essentially get rid of GDP. So I'll delete that, and I'm left with these two. Let's create our graphs. First thing we're going to do, grab the data. Insert. I'm choosing line. You can choose chart if, you, if you'd like or something else. As you know, we want to get rid of the series name. Remove. We want to edit our horizontal axis with just our time, with our years. Okay, and so we're looking good. And of course, you want to go to layout to fix some things up. 
Uh, let's go to chart title and put that above the chart. And there we go. You can choose whatever title you want and of course make the font size smaller. And I'm going to do the same, some of the same things I did in video one where I'll put the legend, let's put that, uh, yeah, let's do the same thing, let's put it below. Okay, and what we're also going to do is put some access titles. Uh, let's put the access title right here, yeah, primary vertical. We'll put it to the left, and this is going to be for primary education. And the denominator is already shown. It's in thousands, so you don't have to actually indicate that because it's already saying thousands over here. So that's fine. Now notice that we have the same scale issue that we had in the other, in the video one. So services is way down here where, and we have primary education way up here. So this is not a good graph so far. What we want to do again is create a double Y axis graph that gives us the ability to better interpret the services line. So as you know, you want to click that data. You want to right click format data series and click secondary axis. So now we have a better understanding. Close that out. And uh, what we're going to do here, throw some axis titles onto the secondary uh, vertical axis and the secondary axis represents services current dollars in millions okay and uh, let me know what let me just put primary education and add teachers Okay, and also, you see this here, I want to get rid of the current dollars and millions because I already have it over here. So that means you got to go back to your initial data point and get rid of this. Okay, and we are pretty much done with some minor formatting. But now we have a, we have a very, very nice graph because, because of the double Y axis, again, we're able to look at the following. In 1994, the services for Ghana, which is, uh, according to my research, a primary source of economic growth was $2 billion. Whereas in 1994, the primary teacher, uh, primary education of teacher, the number of them was about 70,000 of them. Most importantly, the trend is parallel, right? As one goes up, the other one generally is going up. And uh, we can see some interesting results uh, to the right side. So you can, you can write paragraphs upon paragraphs about this if you had to. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have discovered how to, again, implement the double Y axis and utilize it to tell a story, uh, a correlation story between two variables, in this case, the development variable, and the primary source variable.